Hello everybody, so today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about find the arc length of cardioid. So now I will show you the technique how to answer. First, we need to find first the derivative of arc. So you got about cosine theta. Next, <coughs> We need to use about the formula to find the arc length. So that should be about the integral from 0 to b over 2. And we put about the square root in here. So you got about r square plus first the derivative of r square. And we have d theta. So r that's about one plus sine theta. So we put in here. To the power of two. This is about cosine theta square. In this one, you got about one plus two sine theta, and you got about sine theta square. plus cosine theta square in this one you got about number one so we have one plus one you got about number two The square root of number 2 we put outside. Next. About number one, we will about sine theta over two square, cosine theta over two square. Sine theta, we can put about two sine theta over sine theta over two, cosine theta over two. This one, you will got about sine theta over two plus cosine theta over two to the power of two d theta. This one they will cancel the number two. And you will go about side theta over two plus cosine theta over two. So we can get the final answer. This one you got about negative cosine theta over two multiplied with number two. This one 
you got about two side theta over two and we put the bounds in here so you got about two multiplied with the square root of number two and this one approximate about 2.8 and that's it, the final answer